Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Hi, and welcome to another video in our series on IGCSE Economics. This is Unit 3, Part 6. In today's lesson we will be learning about spending, saving and borrowing. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. People will divide their disposable income between spending and saving. The more disposable income people have the greater their potential consumer expenditure. People will consume those goods and services that provide them with the most satisfaction or utility. Utility is a term in economics that refers to the total satisfaction received from consuming a good or service. Utility diminishes with each purchase. For instance, if a burger cost $5 and you get $7 worth of satisfaction from it you will gladly buy it. Say you enjoyed that burger so much you decided to eat another. But this burger you only get $5 worth of enjoyment out of. You still got your money's worth, but it wasn't as good as the first burger. You go on and decide to have a third burger. But this time you only get $3 worth of satisfaction. You got less dollars worth of satisfaction from each additional burger you had. But they all cost the same. You are experiencing reducing marginal utility. What determines how much we spend? Disposable income. This is the amount of money that households have available for spending and saving after income taxes have been accounted for. Wealth. Wealth measures the value of all the assets of worth owned by a person. Interest rates. This is the amount that banks will pay you for deposits, or how much they will charge you for loans. Consumer confidence. This is a statistical measure of consumers' feelings about current and future economic conditions. It is used as an indicator of the overall state of the economy. There is a close relationship between real income and consumer spending. As real incomes have risen in many countries, so too has total consumer spending. Other drivers of change in consumer spending patterns include these factors. People are living longer. They have more leisure time. They are increasingly health conscious. There is increasing concern for the environment. More females have joined the labor force. New technologies give us a range of new ones. Why do our spending patterns differ? Our individual spending and saving patterns depend on our preferences, economic circumstances and characteristics. Sex, lifestyle and family circumstances are just some of the determinates of spending behavior. In the diagram we see a large difference in the spending habits between males and females. Now let's talk about savings. Saving delays consumer spending to a later date. They wish to save their money at the moment. Perhaps, they wish to save up for an expensive item. But, why do we save? As we have already said, for future spending. Perhaps we are saving for a house. To earn income from interest. Perhaps it is more attractive to save, rather than spend at the moment. In case our economic circumstances change. This is the proverbial saving for a rainy day because of increased opportunities to save. Consumers sometimes borrow money to finance additional expenditure. Maybe they are finally able to buy that house. Or perhaps they wish to finance a car. They can then make loan repayments over time from their future earnings. Personal debt is the total stock of money borrowed and yet to be repaid by a person or a household. What determines how much we borrow? Interest rates Wealth Consumer confidence And finally, availability to credit Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.